Uh, guys, in the previous chapter, we studied few more programs to kickstart with Java. That is, uh, we had written a program to add two numbers to calculate area of a circle. I think that's it. I do have these programs here. See, I'll say PWD here, that is Print Working Directory, is a, a Mac operating system which I which I am using. In the previous examples, I did use um, Windows. Now, we have to understand that this is the console of Mac, and here is my Sublime. So, in Windows, same way we use console, I'll be using console in the Mac. So, and in Windows, like I use Sublime, here I'll be using Sublime itself. Since I'm using Sublime and console only, it doesn't make any difference uh, which operating system I use. So we had three programs like namaste.java, area of a circle and add.java. Let me open this file, area, n or yes. So for both I have configured to uh, run it in Sublime, open this file in Sublime. Same way, let me open another file, yes. add.java. Okay, now in this chapter, we are going to study in this chapter, we are going to study Java programming fundamentals. So very, very early basics of Java programming. Okay, in that the first lesson which we are going to study is identifier. Okay, let's come back to our program here. Uh, what is add? It's a class name, you think, right? Can I call add as is a name used for identifying a class? Right, we can put it this way. Just the same way, fillet is a name used for identifying a variable of type string array. Same way, num1, num2, sum are the names used for identifying variables of type int. Now, if you come to area, we can say radius and area are the variables which are used for identifying are the names which are used for identifying variables of type double same way area is an identifier main the method name is also an identifier and variable name is also an identifier a constant name which are going to study in future or an interface name so here in this example we can say area main fillet radius and area here they all are called as identifiers so identifiers are the names which are used for identifying a class name, a method name, a variable name, a constant name, or an interface name. What is an interface? We'll study in the future lesson. Don't worry about it. So I have given also a very good notes below this video. So in your notebook, I expect you to what? Uh, copy those notes right after going through this lesson. So in the notes, I also mentioned some points where some of the rules, regulations, rules which need to be followed for naming this identifier. Okay. So let's say there is one rule. Okay. An identifier can consist of alphabets that is A to Z, either small letters or capital, digits 0 to 9 and underscore. So we can underscore is this an example is like this. And also you can have dollar so what are things an identifier can consist of dollar underscore digits and alphabets an identifier can contain a digit but it cannot start with a digit so for example if saying first radius this would be wrong why the reason is because it can contain a digit but it cannot start with a digit that is a rule so we'll get a compile timer suppose if you have this if I go here and let's say Java C space area, I'll have an error. See, it's not able to understand this. So, get the concept here. So, we cannot name like this, but we can say radius 1 if you wish. If you say radius 1, still it works fine. See, sorry, execution. So this is the first rule what we studied. An identifier can contain of alphabets, digits, underscore, and dollar. Whereas an identifier can contain the digit, but cannot start with digit. This is the second rule. 
and the third rule is that an identifier should not be a reserved keyword see here class public static this are reserved keyword main is not a reserved keyword void is a reserved keyword okay understand this same way double is a reserved keyword okay so there are like 200 plus reserved keywords are there in java so we'll learn more about them in the future lessons for now you don't need to bother so reserved keywords are basically small letters so int long byte short public static wide class all these things are reserved keywords so we cannot have a class with the name class or we cannot have a class with the name int byte or something or we cannot have a variable with the name double and another variable data type is double and the variable name is also double so basically it cannot be a reserved keyword and the next rule is that it can be of any length so we can say radius okay can i try the whole page we can also try it and see so it can be of any length. literally it can be of any length you can give the whole page as this okay but again when you are reusing you will have a trouble just understand the rule rule that it can be of any length java is a case sensitive language so if i have a variable int x and another variable variable capital x these two are two different variables they are two different identifiers we can say so it's another rule java is a case sensitive language so we can have an identifier with a small letter and again with the capital letters we can have another identifier so that's it pretty much you need to follow this rule in whenever you are naming a class a variable name or constant or an interface there's also one more rule which i have mentioned in the notes okay which i am not saying here only reason is that and i want you to detect the notes so i want you to understand that uh, this training this materials what you see there is something in the video again something in the notes is a mix and match of both after watching the video i want you to go through the notes also so that's the reason there are with intention i may not cover i may not talk about some of the points so which i would write it in the notes itself so please cultivate habit of going through the notes right after the class i mean this video tutorial okay in the see you in the next video then thank you